problem? <laughs> yeah, but uh, too dangerous to pull anyone else into. Come on, just out with it already. Okay. Have a seat. I'll tell you the whole story. My name's Paul. I'm on a damn good scavenger team. Me and Daisy are in charge. Her son Fitz is our second. Recently, some assholes moved into our territory, trying to push us out. Avery and Francis. You heard of them? No. Well, they're bad fucking news. Daisy went to talk to them to be neighborly. Our neighbors beat her and broke her hand. It could have been worse. Even after that, we were willing to talk. I mean, we're not fighters. So Fitz took the crew with him for another meeting yesterday. I never came back. And I don't know what to do. I, uh, I need to find them. I need to know what happened. I see. Okay, I can take a look. Where do I start? Uh, you're a godsend. The team must have left from our staging area. Back in the day, it was called the Incubate Building near Goldstone Loans. The signs are still up, so you shouldn't have trouble finding it. Just take a look. I'll make it worth your while. Promise. I'll check it out, and we'll see. Just because you got holes in your shoes doesn't mean you're poor. If you got no one to lean on, that's when you know you hit rock bottom. Is that? Oh, sorry. I thought she... You're Daisy, right? Is anyone else here? Paul sent me. He's been worried about you, Fitz, and your team. Where is everyone? At the Larrabee building, on Milton Court. Not far from here, by the modern art sculpture. Fitz and Francis arranged to meet there. Francis seems more civilized than his brother Avery. But ask me, I think he just hides his crazy better. I warn Fitz not to trust Francis, but my son, sometimes he's far too trusting. Chances are he waltzed right into an ambush. Please, check the Larrabee. You'll see the sign. Okay. How will I recognize Fitz? He's medium height, dark brown hair, bright blue eyes. Uh, blue jeans, black jacket with a, a pin on it. The Eye of Horus. <laughs> His lucky charm. For mystical protection, he says. The Eye of Horus. What's that? That old Egyptian eye. Like that one. <laughs> Silly superstition, maybe, but right now, I hope it works. Francis's camp is up in one of the condominiums at the intersection of St. Paul Boulevard and Eugene Garnier Thruway, where the E-10 collapsed. Look there, too. Bring my boy back, and the team. Hear me? Roger that. I'll find them. Just get back to Paul at the canteen.
This started out as a friendly meeting. It didn't end that way. More tracks. Hmm. Why aren't there more bodies? Francis. Maybe he has some answers. Friends of yours. What do you want? Daisy and Paul sent me. I'm looking for Fitz and his team. They never returned after they were supposed to meet with you. Okay. So this looks bad. But I'm putting my weapon down, okay? This is all my psycho brother Avery's fault. Let's start there. He'll do anything to anyone to get what he wants. Including to me. His own brother. So when this Fitz kid showed up, I saw a chance to get free of Avery. I told Fitz exactly what the kind of monster my brother was. And he signed up on the spot to help me take Avery down. So the bodies at the Larrabee? Avery's guys. My brother is a psycho to everyone. So we gave them a chance to join us against Avery. The bodies you saw. The men who declined. The rest of us headed over to Metropole Tower. Over there. That's where Avery's holed up. Fitz took point. I held some men back to guard the rear. Uh-huh. And where are Fitz and his team now? They... Ah... Uh, they were captured by Avery's crew. They took Fitz alive. I wouldn't leave him behind. 
Not after what he did, but now that my men are dead. Not sure what I can do now. Are you sure Fitz is still alive? Last I saw, my brother likes him awake when he tortures them. I'll head to the skyscraper now. If Fitz is dead, you're next. Why blame me? He had skin in the game. His poor, injured mother. Tough kid, huh, boss? When I saw those baby blues, I thought he'd start crying like a toddler. Nah, they didn't tell me anything I didn't already know. Francis sent him. No offense, boss, but your brother's not right. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. He's been waiting for years to make his move. We'll get him, and whatever's left of his group soon enough. Ain't no one left. We killed them all. Uh, Avery. Just the man I came to see. Ah, oh, another of Francis's goons. Been here long? Long enough to know that you tortured a kid to death. He attacked me, you know. Never saw the kid before today. And the torture? Well, just a hobby of mine. His fault for provoking me. Well, shit. Francis told the truth about you, at least. You invaded their territory, and Fitz only came to talk, so what happened? Francis, probably. Cause truth be told, I was willing to talk. I sent a man with a map to propose a reasonable division of the territory. Next thing I know, 
This crazy kid shows up at my doorstep. My brother got into the kid's head. It's what he does. So, I'm Francis's plan B to kill you then. And like Fitz, no blowback on him if you kill me first. But he forgot one thing. That we might talk. So how about we make a deal? Go back and kill him for me. And I don't make you my next hobby horse. And I'll let Daisy and Paul know that this is my turf now. All of it. What kind of deal is that? One that makes us even for me having to kill this stupid kid. They got nothing left here now. So they might as well clear out. If they don't, and we happen to cross paths... ...on my turf... ...well... ...it ain't gonna end up any better for them... ...than it did for Blue Eyes. I see. I'll let him know. Same goes for you. Stay away or I'll peel you like an orange. If I ever come back, you'll be dead before you find out. <laughs> nice one, kid. <laughs> I like the cut of your jib. Here. Take this. Eye of Horus. It's Fitz's pen. A souvenir of our time together. Now get the fuck out. made it. I mean, I'm so glad you made it back. Phew. Fitz, he okay? The kid's dead, asswipe. Just like he planned. Oh, and Avery knows you were trying to kill him. It's like I told you. Avery's a fucking bloodthirsty monster. I've seen him feed men their own balls. I'll pass on that. So, you going to do my brother's dirty work or let me go? <laughs> Why wouldn't I kill you at this point? Because of a hidden stash of good shit, that's fine. I tell you where it is, you let me go. Deal? <sighs> okay, where's the stash? And I'd better find it. You will. It's in a small garden square where the old projects used to be, at the intersection of Liberation and Alphabet Place. Just below a bench. I swear. You lie, you die. Remember that. Go. Francis was telling the truth. Now that's a surprise.
Did Daisy make it back? I don't see her. She did. She's resting. Uh, where's Fitz? He... He's dead. Francis conned him. He and your team were duped into attacking Avery. No, wait, what? Fitz? Th th that doesn't make any sense. It's, it's not like him. Francis used Fitz's love for his mother and the fact that she'd been injured to fire him up. And then Avery caught him and tortured him to death. Poor stupid kid. Getting himself killed just because he loved his mother. Fucking bullshit. All right. Okay. And what about the rest of the team? Marta, Snorri, Mehmet, are they gone too? Never saw him myself, but from what I can tell, I don't know how they could have survived. Well, at least tell me that Francis and Avery are dead. You got him, didn't you? Yeah, Francis is gone, but Avery is still alive. Fitz's attempt to kill him, well, it really pissed him off. He's claiming your former stomping grounds as his own. Says he'll kill you and Daisy if he sees you on his turf. I knew Fitz could get defensive about Daisy, but not like that. How could he let Francis get in his head like that? I don't know where we'll go. Or what we'll do. Does it matter at this point? At least you're alive. So yeah, it's a tragedy. But don't make it worse. Here, take this. I won't need it anyway. I've got to talk to Daisy now. Give her the bad news. Man, this will be the end of Daisy. Fitz was her only child. This is just too fucked up.